I think that sustainability is being intentional about making your resources last beyond today and for the future. So you can think of the resources in this case as maybe your health, your finances, um, even things around water, in terms of our environment, and all of that. So sustainability is about being intentional about making your resources last longer than you, and even for the future. So in terms of career sustainability, we started discussion already when the lights went off. These are the issues, right? Ever-evolving technology, new JavaScript framework every day. We want to be 10x engineer. How do you level up? There's also problem of imposter syndrome. How do I measure up with others, right? There is high risk of burnout as a developer, which is why you should take your health very serious. And there's health risk with, with, with the fact that we, we live a sedentary lifestyle, right? And how do you keep fit? And how can, I, can you use your skills to help the society? And if you look at these matters arising, how do you navigate this risk to eventually build a sustainable developer career? I think that one of the interesting things is around continuous education. Because we are in a field that is ever-changing, new technology are coming up every day. For you to remain relevant, you need to constantly be open to learn new things, right? Try out new technology. And with the fact that things are changing every day, one thing must be constant. You need to master the basic principles of uh, development, right? Things like OOP, solid principles, um, different basic principles like that. Like maybe if you are a front-end developer, you need to master basic principles around how to use like maybe CSS grids for your designs and all of that. A lot of technology might come into play, but of course you need to know how to do like the, basics, the basic things. So the basic is constant. Even though a lot of things are changing, basic things remain. Like you need to know how to write a good algorithm that is fast, right? how to use design patterns and things like that. So basics should always be there. Be intentional about mastery, right? If you're a front-end developer, of course, you want to be at, at some point in your career, you want to become a senior front-end developer and all of that. So you need to create a plan and put into place, what do I need to do to move from being a junior developer to a senior developer and, and, and follow through, through that plan? And as well, by connecting with the community and sharing your knowledge, it's, it's also a good way to put yourself out there. You have a question? Okay. Yes. Is the plan unique to individuals or you can, because I'm sure some of us, so like personally me now, I'm a junior developer and I honestly want to move as fast as possible to senior developer. I have friends that are like, they are senior developers now. So I want to also, so like, the plan that you're talking about, is it unique to individuals or like, is there like something that can work for everybody, like a blueprint already? Um, so I'll say that, yeah, plans are, you're not, you're not even going to give me time for the lights, <laughs> lights out. <laughs> One, okay. Yeah, so I, I think that the plans are uh, unique for each, each individual. And also it's, there are a lot of factors that come into play into that. First, like where you're working, right? And because most time you want to have a conversation with your manager on what do you need to do to move from this point to this point because they will eventually have to promote you at some point. You have to agree that. So they have to say, oh, maybe I want you to be able to do like 10 PR in a week, right? Or I want you to be able to, be, to start mentoring other developers. Uh, and you can show an evidence of somebody that you've mentored Right, and in terms of your skills, you have a skill plan to say, oh, within three months, I want to learn how to use design patterns in my JavaScript code. I want to learn how to use OOP. I want to move from just doing JavaScript to TypeScript. So you should have, of course, it's very unique, right? But there are a lot of factors, like I said. If you are working in a place, it's also much more easy. You have that conversation with your managers. You have a set of expectations to say, this is the things that you must do for me to be able to promote you. And once you have evidence, after maybe five, um, one year, you can go back to your manager that this, these things that we agreed on, I, I have evidence to show that I've grown along that plan. So you can promote me now. Okay, 
I don't think I'll be able to cover most of my slides, but that it's it's fine for the discussion we've had so far. Okay, we can move to questions now. Thank you so much for the session. Um, I want to ask: Is it a sustainable way? To, uh, is uh, like for? Okay, can someone build a sustainable career without mentoring other people, just building their technical skills? Like, is it a sustainable way to build your career as an engineer? You just want to build your technical expertise. You're not interested in managing other people. You just want to be a guru in your in what you do. Yeah. Um, I think that so I'll I'll look at two ways, right? So I think that is hard for you to be in our field, even if you are not a manager. At some point, you end up as a technical lead on a project. Like at IBM, we have like two tracks: there's management track and there's technical leadership track. You don't have anybody you are managing as a person, right? But you be on teams that you are probably leading the architecture, you are guiding the junior developers. You can't run away from it, even outside of sustainability now. At some point, you have to mentor people on the team. As a senior, if you are probably the most senior person on the project, other people come, you have to onboard them to that project. So you can't run away from actually mentoring. I don't know if I, if I answered your question. Yeah, so it's not yeah. something you can run away from in this field because people always come newly to the project where you are the most senior person or where you have the most, senior, uh, the most experience on a certain technology. You, you can't run away from it. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so, so much. Okay. So due to time, yep. if you have any further question, you can actually reach out to him. I'm sorry. What's your handle so they can actually follow uh, you? Tosin Amuda. Is he on the slide? Because uh, mm. it is. Well, you know that my slide is... I still have a couple of slides. Oh. Yeah. That's it. Okay, so um, the handle on Twitter is Tosin Amuda. Tosin Amuda. Okay, so please follow him on Twitter. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so please follow him on Twitter and then um, you could ask all of the questions that you want to ask or you could connect with him. Okay, yes, you can. <laughs>